The casting for the 1965 film What's New Pussycat was a careful process. Peter Sellers was already a well-known actor and his involvement was a major draw. He was chosen for his ability to bring humor and depth to his character. Peter O'Toole was selected for his charm and wit, which suited his role perfectly. Romy Schneider and Capucine brought elegance and talent to the film, making them ideal for their parts. Woody Allen, who also wrote the screenplay, was a natural fit for the quirky and comedic elements of the movie. The chemistry between the actors was tested to ensure a dynamic and entertaining interaction on screen. Key moments during auditions helped the director see who would work best together, shaping the final cast that brought the film to life. In the 1965 film What's New Pussycat, director Clive Donner worked closely with writer Woody Allen to create a lively comedy. Donner's direction was playful and energetic, matching the script's humor. He drew inspiration from the pop art movement and the free-spirited culture of the 1960s. The film's visual style is bright and colorful, reflecting the era's fashion and art. Donner encouraged improvisation among the actors, leading to spontaneous and humorous moments on screen. His collaboration with the cast, including Peter Sellers and Peter O'Toole, was key to the film's comedic timing and charm. The director's approach made What's New Pussycat a memorable comedy that captured the spirit of its time. What's New Pussycat is a 1965 comedy film that brings a lot of laughs, surprises, and touching moments. It's about a man named Michael James, who is trying to stay faithful to his girlfriend despite several women being interested in him. This movie is known for its humor and the way it plays with the idea of love and relationships. Now, let's talk about some interesting parts of the film. For me, the scene where all the characters end up in a hotel room together stands out. It's a mix-up that leads to a lot of funny moments. And did you know? This movie was the first screenplay written by Woody Allen, who also acts in it. That's something not everyone knows. I'm curious, do you have a favorite moment from What's New Pussycat that you remember? Or maybe you learned something about the movie that surprised you. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments. Share with us what makes this movie special for you. The 1965 film What's New Pussycat was a comedy that brought together a talented cast and crew. The production faced challenges typical of the era, such as coordinating scenes in busy city locations and managing the logistics of set construction. Filming took place in France, including Paris and the countryside, providing a scenic backdrop for the story. Set design was creative, reflecting the whimsical and humorous tone of the movie. They used bold colors and imaginative sets to capture the mood. For technology, they relied on the Panavision cameras that were state-of-the-art at the time, allowing for widescreen shots that were innovative for comedies. The production team worked hard to ensure smooth operations despite the hurdles of weather and coordinating with local authorities for shooting in public spaces. The result was a film that stood out for its visual appeal and comedic timing, making it a memorable piece of cinema from the 1960s. In the film What's New Pussycat, Woody Allen brings his unique style of humor to the screen for the first time, playing a character who is an intellectual yet awkward man, constantly puzzled by his lack of success with women. This movie, directed by Clive Donner, is a reflection of the 1960s culture, complete with a contemporary pop soundtrack and a style that nods to earlier film traditions. Peter O'Toole stars as a charming man who, despite his commitment to his fiancée, finds himself pursued by numerous women. Peter Sellers delivers a standout performance as his therapist, adding a layer of comedy to his character's outlandish personality and attire. The film, a lighthearted comedy, was well received at the box office, attracting audiences with its notable cast and humorous take on romantic entanglements. It stands out as a humorous portrayal of the era, not just through its narrative, but also through its visual and auditory elements. Overall, the movie offers a good dose of entertainment and laughter, making it a worthwhile watch. The film What's New Pussycat from 1965 features a score and soundtrack that play a key role in setting the mood and supporting the story. The music was crafted to fit the lively and humorous spirit of the movie. Burt Bacharach, the composer, created tunes that matched the lighthearted and playful scenes. His work helped to highlight the comedic moments and the romantic confusion that the characters experience. The title song, performed by Tom Jones, became very popular and is still known today. It captures the fun and energy of the film. 
the musicians and composers worked closely with the filmmakers to make sure the music told the same story as the movie, adding to the overall experience for the audience. In his first role on the big screen, Woody Allen also took on the task of writing the script, marking the beginning of his journey in film. During the making of this comedy, tensions arose between Allen and Peter Sellers, a seasoned actor who began to take over the scenes with his improvisations. This led to a shift in the dynamic on set, with Sellers gaining more prominence and Allen deciding to seek greater control over his future projects by directing. Allen's entry into the film industry was prompted by his agents, who saw potential in his transition from writing to developing full-length features. This experience, though challenging, set the stage for Allen's subsequent career as a filmmaker. The 1965 movie What's New Pussycat has several memorable scenes that stand out for their humor and visual style. The direction by Clive Donner showcases a playful approach, especially in the scene where Peter O'Toole's character is chased through Paris. The performance by Peter Sellers as Dr. Fassbender is both funny and touching, particularly when he interacts with his robotic secretary. The cinematography captures the energy of the 1960s with bright colors and quick camera movements that add to the comedy. These scenes make the audience laugh, but also reflect the search for love and meaning in a modern world. The filmmakers aimed to create a fun and lighthearted film, and the actors enjoyed the creative freedom they were given, which shines through in their performances. This combination of direction, performance, and visual flair makes the film memorable and enjoyable even today. On a chilly December day in 1964, Woody Allen, playing the character Victor Skakapopulis, filmed a birthday scene that coincided with his real-life 29th birthday. This moment was captured on the wharf, adding a touch of reality to the film's narrative. Meanwhile, Paula Prentice, known for her role in Where the Boys Are, had previously garnered critical acclaim, securing a spot as a top comedic actress and a promising new talent in the early 1960s. Her performances earned her multiple awards, highlighting her skill in supporting roles and her ability to captivate audiences with her humor. The film is part of a larger trend of movies released during the 1960s and early 1970s that featured the word pussycat in their titles. This pattern included a mix of live action films and animated series reflecting a cultural fascination with the term during that era. The 1965 film What's New Pussycat made a strong impression on audiences and had a significant influence on popular culture. It was one of the first movies to discuss male desire and relationship issues in a humorous way. The film's playful approach to love and relationships opened up new conversations, especially among young people. It also stood out for its stylish portrayal of the 1960s lifestyle, which included fashion, music, and a freer attitude towards romance. The title song by Tom Jones became very popular and is still known today. The movie showed a shift in society, where topics that were once private were now being talked about openly. This change helped pave the way for more open discussions about personal and social issues in later films and media. In the mid-1960s, a comedy film brought together a unique group of talents. Woody Allen, then a rising star, faced a setback when he was suspended from New York University. Despite this, his career did not falter, and he joined forces with Peter O'Toole, an actor known for his leading roles and charismatic performances. O'Toole shared the screen with notable figures such as Peter Sellers, Ursula Andress, and Burt Bacharach, not just in this film, but also in the later project Casino Royale. Behind the scenes, Charles K. Feldman, a producer with a keen eye for potential hits, acquired the rights to a play with the hope of transforming it into a film starring Cary Grant, a leading man of his time. This convergence of talent and ambition marked a notable moment in film history. The 1965 film What's New Pussycat received mixed reviews upon release. Critics praised its humor and the performances of Peter Sellers and Peter O'Toole, but some found the plot confusing. The movie was a hit with audiences, known for its catchy theme song by Tom Jones. It was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Original Song. The recognition the film received helped to boost the careers of those involved, affirming their talent in comedy and filmmaking. The nominations and positive audience response were significant for the actors and the director as it showed appreciation for their work and could lead to more opportunities in the industry. In the midst of a vibrant social circle, Ursula Andress shared friendships with notable figures such as Linda Evans and Tina Turner. 
Her connections extended to various fields, including music and acting showcasing a wide network. Meanwhile, Capucine's journey to America marked a significant turn in her career. Starting on a whim, her move from modeling in New York to acting in California was catalyzed by a chance meeting with John Wayne and Charles K. Feldman. This encounter led to her learning English and eventually debuting in an English-speaking role. Andrus also found herself in the spotlight of popular culture, being mentioned in Bette Midler's song from the album Songs for the New Depression, highlighting her status in the entertainment industry. During the filming of What's New Pussycat, the cast and crew faced unique challenges and shared memorable moments. Peter Sellers, known for his comedy, kept the mood light on set with his jokes. He would often improvise, making the crew laugh and bringing a sense of fun to the long shooting days. Woody Allen, who wrote the screenplay, was also acting for the first time. He was nervous, but his sharp wit and natural humor shone through, making his performance a delight. The director, Clive Donner, had to manage a dynamic group of actors, ensuring that the film stayed on track. Despite the pressure, he created an environment where everyone could thrive creatively. The film's setting in Paris added to the charm, with the city's beauty inspiring the cast and crew. On a film set in Paris, a serious incident occurred involving actress Paula Prentice. Facing a personal crisis, she climbed high above the set and threatened to jump. Her life was saved by a quick acting technician. This event led to a significant pause in her acting career, with her next film appearance being delayed until the release of Catch-22. Woody Allen, known for his work behind the camera, directed Mia Farrow, his partner at the time, in a series of films spanning a decade. Their collaborations are well remembered in cinematic history. Additionally, Louise Lasser, who later married Allen, made an uncredited appearance in the film. Her work with Allen extended beyond this project, as they worked together on several films throughout the 1960s and early 1970s. The 1965 film What's New Pussycat stands out for its humor and the way it broke from traditional storytelling of its time. It opened doors for more playful and open discussions of relationships in cinema. The movie style and humor influenced comedies that followed, encouraging a more relaxed and creative approach to filmmaking. It also helped to launch the career of Woody Allen as a filmmaker as he wrote and acted in the movie. This film is often remembered for its catchy title song by Tom Jones, which became very popular. The movie's approach to comedy and its success paved the way for similar films, making it a notable point in the history of film. In the midst of filming, Ursula Andrus found herself working closely with a talented group including Peter Sellers and Peter O'Toole, who were also her co-stars in another project. The set was often filled with laughter, especially during an incident where Peter O'Toole couldn't contain his amusement at Jacques Ballatin's mispronunciation during rehearsals. This led to an impromptu moment where Peter Sellers joined in, and the laughter continued until they revealed the reason behind their amusement to Ballatin. Another memorable instance was when Peter Sellers improvised a line that referenced Ursula Andress's role in the James Bond series, catching her off guard and prompting genuine laughter, as she had portrayed the iconic character Honey Rider in Dr. No. These behind-the-scenes moments contributed to the light-hearted atmosphere on set. In the film, the character Michael James is seen driving a classic British sports car, specifically a light blue Singer 9 Le Mans special speed model from the mid-1930s. This vehicle stands out for its design and is a reflection of the era's automotive style. Woody Allen, who wrote the screenplay for the film, later faced serious personal accusations. He addressed these in a written piece for a major newspaper, stating it would be his final public comment on the issue. The film's title song gained recognition and was nominated by the American Film Institute in 24 as one of the greatest movie songs, highlighting its popularity and significance in cinema music history. In a significant show of support for New York, Woody Allen stood before the Oscar audience in 22, urging filmmakers to continue their craft in the city despite the recent tragedy. His career, spanning decades, includes directing his second wife, Louise Lasser, in several films, though only two were created while they were married. A notable collaboration in his filmography is with Julia Taylor, who has been casting his films since 1975, ensuring each character fits perfectly into Allen's vision. This partnership highlights the trust and consistency in his work, contributing to the unique character of his films. If you remember watching What's New Pussycat back in 1965, think about how it made you feel and how it might have changed the way you see movies. 
Did it make you laugh or think about love in a new way? Maybe it was the style of the film or the music that stayed with you. Share your story with us. Your experiences can spark joy and bring back good memories for others. If you enjoy talking about classic films and want to hear more, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more discussions. Your input helps keep the love for cinema alive. Let's keep the conversation going and celebrate the movies that have been a part of our lives.